what's up y'all it's dr paul i'm still working on these fragments from noah's copy of superman number nine what i've done is i've taken a little piece of holly text and i've just put a crease in it here and i'm going to start laying these fragments on it and i'm just going to wet this that's just distilled water and I'm going to lay these fragments on it and when I wet it these fragments should stick reasonably well when I wet them. And then when we wet the other side and we make a little envelope, I think these pieces are gonna stay reasonably well put. And then we'll use this little piece of Holitex to control these pieces in our aqueous bath. These pieces, these fragments should stay on the holly text reasonably well. Our aqueous bath is going to be uh, not super deep. It's going to be in the photo develop developing tray enough that the holly text basically wicks a lot of the solution up without it being miles deep. Okay, so I'm just gonna discard this Fuller's Earth as we talked about before. I'll get it out of the way for the moment. We're gonna fold this over. And then like I mentioned, when we wet this, We're going to have a nice little envelope that we can use to manipulate these pieces without worry of them being torn just by being, you know, under their own weight while they're wet because going to be an aqueous bath they're going to be extremely delicate wet paper is weak paper as we know and so i just wanted a nice way to contain them so that's what i came up with i have done all these techniques before but i haven't done them on these tiny of fragments in this this great a number before so this is step one now this little envelope is ready i will prep the other two pages in my photo development tray. I'll show you that and then I'll show you the solution that we put together and um, we'll get started with the aqueous bath for this copy of Superman number nine. All right, so what I've done is I have my photo development tray here, which you may recall I like because it's the right area. It's got this low edge so that I can work it also allows me to get the blue LED very close to the books. And when I'm ready to pour an aqueous solution off or any solvent, it has this nice spout. I got these from Amazon, and there is a link in the description if you want to get yours from there as well. There's a piece of Holly text here, and I have the, the book, the two halves of the cover laid out here. As you recall, again, we've removed, we did a dry cleaning, we removed all the tape, we've removed all the adhesive. Our goal here is to whiten and to strengthen and clean and deacidify the paper. So we'll just do a little check with the owl card here. To my eye, 
this paper here is in pretty good shape. Somewhere around the off-white. I think off-white of these three is the closest, but it's probably a little bit lighter right here than off-white. But there are some other spots that are quite dark. Like here's a stain that is all the way over toward brown. And we don't have perfect uniformity in the color. Here, it's certainly darker than it was down here. And I'm not ready to call it tan, but it's, it's slightly darker than off-white, whereas here I think it's slightly lighter than off-white. So we can do a check after we're done with all of our aqueous bath. Now, we have these fragments that are quite... Fragile. What I'm doing now is I'm just wetting this so that we can get everything laid down. That's almost certainly at some point going to come loose, but we'll continue to try to keep it with the rest of the book. Again, ultimately that can be reattached with Japanese paper. We know that we're doing that treatment anyway. So right now I'm literally just spraying this to enable me to get it to stick here nicely. I want to have this lined up if I can reasonably. And then I'm going to put another piece of Holitex over it. So I really want to control the movement of this paper in the aqueous bath, right? And then I have the little Holitex envelope that we made. I'm gonna just put it in the same bath. I'm gonna move it around a little bit when we do the blue LEDs so that it's not going to make an imprint the, that that actually that wavelength of light actually penetrates through paper anyway. We'll get bleaching on the other side of this page from that blue LED. Um, so I'm not concerned too much about it leaving like a, a bleach pattern or something from the from the light, um, but I will move it around just just to make sure there's no chance of that. Right, so the next thing is we'll mix up our aqueous solution and pour it on here, and I'll show you the setup for aqueous bath concurrent with blue LED. All right, let's talk a little bit about the solution we're gonna use for deacidification and strengthening and mild bleaching of the Superman number nine. So the original recipe was published by Hay in 1979, and then later sort of expanded upon and studied further by Sundholm and Tavenine in 2003 and 2004, and then Guerrero et al. in 1995. We're actually following the recipe of Guerrero et al. So what that's gonna be is a semi-saturated solution of calcium hydroxide, and you've seen me, make this before, what I do is I put the calcium hydroxide in water, I shake it up, and then I let it settle. You know that it's saturated because some of the calcium hydroxide didn't go into solution. That's the white part down here. The solution above is fully saturated. We know that that's at 1.6 grams per liter of water at room temperature, and we can dilute that either 1 to 2 or even 1 to 4 and it's still quite effective. In addition to deacidification, it leaves behind a alkaline reserve in the paper. So it protects for future acidification as well. So that's a great one that we use regularly. I get this on Amazon, links in the description. Now we're gonna be supplementing that with methyl cellulose. Methyl cellulose is gonna act as a sizing agent and it's gonna strengthen the paper and we're gonna be using methyl cellulose at 0.5%. And 
and that's why I have these measuring spoons. This is really fun. So density of methyl cellulose is 1.3 grams per ml. So we need about, we're going to make up 500 mils, half a liter, to cover our Superman number nine cover plus fragments in my photo developing tray. So we're going to need 125 mls of this because we're going to dilute it one to four. That's the calcium hydroxide. And then we're going to need about 1.9 mls of methyl cellulose. Now, 1.9 mls, this is not exact science, but I'm going to get it close. We don't need a stoichiometric solution here. We just want to be in the ballpark. What I love is I got these measuring spoons. These are also from Amazon, by the way. And I do have a link in the description, I believe. A tad is one and a quarter mLs, 1.25. And a dash is officially 0 0.63 mLs. So between the two of them, you have almost exactly 1.9. So we're going to take these two spoons with the methyl cellulose. We're going to add... 125 mils of the calcium hydroxide fully saturated solution and I'm going to mix them up. I'm going to bring them up with tap water to half a liter just in this pickle jar. Okay so here's how we do that. We're going to pour this directly into this beaker and I'm going to get it at 125. The beaker is graduated in 25 mil increments so for our purposes this is plenty accurate enough i'm gonna it's almost time to make more of that solution that's gonna go in here in my pickle jar and then we're gonna add to that one tad and one dash of methyl cellulose. There's one tad. One tad. Then I'm going to put in one dash. Right. Then uh, I have this demarcated at half a liter. I'm going to bring it up to half a liter with my tap water. Again, just for... Um, review for those of you that have been with the channel for a while. I live out in the country, so I have limestone water here. It's basic already. It's literally better for paper than distilled water. And that's been proven scientifically. I can put the link to anybody who wants to doubt it. So we just use tap water. It's better for the paper and it's more economical. So I'll be bringing this up in tap water to half a liter stirring it to make sure the mesocellulose goes into solution, and then we'll apply it to the pages of the Superman, and we'll do concurrent blue LED lighting as well for photo bleaching. All right, so now I have Holitex, my two halves of the cover of Superman number nine, and then another sheet of Holitex. All of the fragments are in a little folded piece of Holitex, and what I've done is I've wet everything just with a spray bottle just to make sure it's all sticky and stays where it is as I pour the solution over it. I've just swirled up that solution I made and I think I waited about 10 minutes. I don't think the methyl cellulose is 100% into solution, but that's fine. It will be eventually solubilized as it sits here. So I'm not worried about that at the moment. And again, as we've talked about, 
it's not exact it's not stoichiometric that we're trying to put together here it just needs to be in the ballpark so that's the solution we're going to use and this is the setup we're going to use for the blue led light so this is just the lid to a sweater box what i've done is i put reflective tape on it and then we're going to put the reflective tape reflective side down and then I'm going to place my two blue LED lights, basically more or less one centered over each page. And I'm going to flip them on. And any light that's reflected off the comic book pages will come up. It'll hit that reflective tape and bounce back down. And that'll just give us a little bit more even distribution of the radiation from the blue LEDs onto the paper so that we're still going to move them around and try to distribute the light as evenly as possible, but this will just spread it out a bit more. So it'll make it a little bit more even and make sure that we don't have like bright spots in the middle of the page and dark spots along the edges like a vignette or something. And I'll leave it this way. I will check back very regularly but I'm, it's going to stay at least a half hour, and it may stay several hours. I'll let you know. If the water starts to get discolored, I will replace with the same solution. And I'll just check that as well, just to see, is it getting yellow? We'll change it at least once. And if it seems like it should be changed more often because it's pulling a lot of dirt out of the paper, and it's, or, and it's really dark then we'll go ahead and change it more often. All right, so next installment, I'll be back with next steps and or results.